For a long time, I had left neck pain that was radiating into my upper trapezius, intermittently into my shoulder blade, and even down into my left arm. What I used to do is take my right hand and I would rub it. I would lean against doorways. I'm sure you've seen people do that, where you get into the doorway and you like to have the pressure onto those trigger points to give you some relief. It was a temporary relief. And I would also stretch a lot to the right to alleviate the symptoms I was, I was experiencing. What I noticed is as I was stretching and rubbing it, while it felt good temporarily, the problem, the big picture got worse, where I would do this more and more often. I would have to stretch more often. I would, I developed actually a tick where I would retract my shoulder blade. I would depress it down and I would give myself a little alleviation of the symptoms by laterally flexing my head, my neck to the right. I share this pain and this story in my book, Aging Without Aching. And I share a story of a famous artist I work with who actually couldn't continue to paint. He was suffering from so much of this annoying neck pain that it disrupted his quality of life. I share it in my latest book, Aging Without Aching, which you can find on Amazon in a print version as well as on a Kindle version. You can also find it in optp.com, my publisher, great company that I really enjoyed working with. And I hope you will gain some insight into what mechanical pain is and what is the correct way to find what is called your directional preference. Your medicine is movement. And while movement is the best medicine, not every movement is best. So you'll read it in the book, and I'll share some more insight with you also on my up and coming webinar, January 27, 12 o'clock Central Time, where we have a free webinar with OPTP. You can register on optp.com. Uh, it's called Pro Talks, and I hope you can join me and ask some questions and gain some insight into mechanical pain.